Yeah, so, uh, I think, what the, first of all, this fight was a good fight. I really enjoyed to sharing uh, Cage with uh, Brandon. It was a hard fight. I hit him a couple of good shots and guy would keep coming and coming and coming and he didn't back up. That makes me, that made me uh, really uh, enjoyable moment that was for me. Uh, and we keep going and going and I think that's what, exactly what fans are looking for when they buy a ticket in UFC and come uh, you know like it was two weeks notice for me I'm not from here I'm from country Georgia uh, still people came like over 500 people who came from my country to support me but you know how many people were there they didn't knew who I was or who Brandon was so all these people besides of course their favorites like the uh, Danish uh, fighters they still want to sh uh, enjoy the show and uh, I think we really gave a good show uh, so we did our best uh, of course for the first time inside the cage that was uh, not the moment I was looking for I wanted to have a good picture inside the you know inside the, the cage uh, especially my dad was one of my corner men. He's uh, one of the first guy and first coach who grew me up. He was been saying that uh, Giga gonna become a world champion in fighting. That in the first day he say, and we have even a videotape. Since then he's been like cornerman for a long time. But since I moved in US past five years, he, he never had the chance to come in US and uh, support me and be my cornerman. So finally we made in Denmark. Denmark first time in. Uh, first time you have seen in Denmark and that's my debut I think we did everything for the win and finally uh, they made the decision and thing went for me and you do train out Kings MMA I do train at Kings MMA I moved uh, from Amsterdam actually I used to live there and then I moved uh, in uh, Kings MMA uh, it's been a long journey uh, since we, me and Master Rafael Cordero, we, uh, we met. Uh, since the first day he said, this is uh, your family Giga, you need to move here and we, we got your back. And since the day one, I right away changed my life, bring my wife and kids in the uh, US. And uh, since then we've been working very, very hard for it, especially uh, I was doing this. Uh, to make my people, my Georgian people proud, we don't have uh, much UFC fighters and uh, I'm just uh, one guy who's gonna try to make till the belt. Giga, who is your uh, like, most impressive fighter in the UFC featherweight division? Which person do you consider as the best inside the champion? I don't know about the best, but I enjoy about uh, fighting, to watch the fights like uh, Zabit, Yair Rodriguez, uh, Cap Swanson, uh, actually, uh, Bruce Leroy, I think Alex, uh, I forgot the last name, these guys, yes, like all those guys, the strikers, it's, uh, that's what makes me the watch UFC. Uh, I, I used to be karate fighter, then I decided to go in kickboxing, and then I'm in MMA, so all, all my life I've been rooting for the uh, strikers, and uh, that's what uh, all the movies, if you check the... Bruce Lee was not a wrestler, you know, all those guys, like the back in the day movies, what are made, uh, they were strikers with some special kicks, and now I finally made the, my kick called the Giga Kick, um, I'm sure you guys soon will find out about that. Was it the body kick? That's a body kick run? with some kind of little moves, uh, but um, usually people go down, Brandon take it like a, took it like a man, you know. Heads off for him. <laughs> and you're a striker, but you showed some pretty good defensive grappling. You thank even you, reversed thank the you. position. How much emphasis have you been putting on those, I guess you could say, weaknesses compared to when you come from a striking design? Yeah, so uh, two, uh, actually 13 months ago, I lost the Contender Series. Uh, contender Series was our plan. Uh, my manager, uh, Ali Abdelaziz, uh, uh, he told me and he kind of planned for me to go inside the UFC from Contender Series. He, he helped me to arrange this fight and unfortunately the fight didn't go the way. I was winning a whole 14 minutes and last fifth minutes I get submitted and uh, since then 13 months, it's a 13 months since then and I never slept one good night after this fight because I had so long. I was a top glory high level kickboxer and I worked for all my life for this. I became a few times world champion there but uh, when I had to fight for a title that time I decided to quit my contract just for one reason to go in a, uh, in a UFC and uh, yeah since then man 
I've been working so hard for my wrestling with the uh, Olympic wrestler Mike uh, Gonzalez, uh, Perez, and some some incredible wrestlers and jiu-jitsu fighters. They helped me a lot for this, and I've been improving. I'm not, I, ne I never really took a time off, you know. Even I'm a high-level striker. I was gym even a gym uh, two or three times a day. And uh, I see myself like a project. I don't see uh, myself like a, just a regular fighter who's just gonna come to get uh, cash out uh, the check. I think uh, to be a world champion in karate, then move into kickboxing, become multiple time kickboxing world champion, and go to UFC. If I fix my wrestling and jiu-jitsu, nobody gonna stop me. That's what I believe, and uh, I never stop thinking about that. You mentioned a couple names before of guys that you you know kind of like in the division. Any one of those you want to fight next? Uh, I think they, I fight? think kind of too early to call out the guys, you know. But uh, maybe those guys, or maybe someone else. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't. I'm not really good with the names, but all those names will, who I said it will be a pleasure for me to fight. Uh, I enjoy w uh, to share the cage with the fighters who has a heart, you know, not like the. Uh, we're gonna take him down, give a love, and that's okay. Love, I know, with my wife. Besides this, there is no love with me on the ground. You know? So, last yeah. Last question. Yeah, what is the difference for you as a fighter, as a competitor, between taking a part with a glory event or UFC event? Is there anything which is much different between those two? Absolutely, absolutely. This is two different disciplines. Even uh, glory. Uh, Glory is just a UFC for the striking and kickboxing, you know, that's the highest level. There is no other, of course, some other shows are trying to make the big fights in kickboxing, but Glory is definitely something they stand outside, like something separately. Uh, same way like heads off to the other organizations in MMA, but UFC is a dream. UFC is a dream for every fighter in MMA. And that's what it is in a Glory. Back in the days there was a K-1 official, but once the K-1 kind of died, uh, people brought the new show Glory and all the champions used to be there and uh, that's that's really hard work I, I see a lot of Glory guys talk like that oh we're gonna move in UFC if I no no way but you, you need to, you, yes but Israel made it as, as well right but you need to go and start training in MMA like MMA fighter I even I was a third done black belt in karate and kickboxing high level fighter. I put my white belt gi and went in a gym, jiu jitsu gym, and trained with just the regular guys. And I've been grinding this past four or five years old and uh, competing in jiu jitsu tournaments, won blue belt world gym championship as well. But you know, that's how you grow. That's how you grow. I wrestle with like 11, 12 years old guys. When I go in one week, I'm going to join the team again and share uh, the match with them. That's how I grow and that's, uh, that's why I told how I see myself as a project and I'm pushing hard for it. It's impressive. Thank you very much. For Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you guys.